Brain hemorrhaging, repeated blows to the head. We now know the exact injuries that Tyree Nichols sustained after he was reportedly beaten to death by five former Memphis Police Department officers. The official autopsy report was released, in fact, today. Let's go to Fox 13's Kayla Solomon live in downtown Memphis. Kayla, these injuries were witnessed in body cam and sky cop video. Yeah, Daryl, and those injuries are outlined here. They're listed bruise by bruise, cut by cut, tells you the exact body part. And even more than that, it confirms what we saw in those videos. Now, I spoke exclusively to attorney Ben Crump earlier today, and he tells me that although it's almost been four months since the death of Tyree Nichols, the family is still struggling. Tyree Nichols' uh, family, his mother, his father, they are just taking it day by day. Day by day. That's how civil rights attorney Ben Crump described how the family of Tyree Nichols is doing almost four months after his death. This is something you would never get over. Your child being taken from this earth in this savage manner. The fact that he was so close to home. The fact that his last words were calling out for his mama saying, I, I just want to get home. I just want to go home. Those are the words that will haunt everybody who saw that video forever. And that video from the January 7th traffic stop showed just how extensive the beating was. It was outlined in the 30-page autopsy report released by the medical examiner's office. The report shows that Nichols had bruising and cuts from his head down to his feet. It also showed that Nichols was not legally drunk, but did have small traces of THC that could mean marijuana use. Since then, Nichols' family has filed a civil lawsuit against the city of Memphis. This autopsy gives evidence to help in the civil case, as well as in the matter that is most important, and that is policy going forward, that there be a duty to intervene when you see an officer breaking the law and using brutality against a citizen unjustifiably. With five former Memphis police officers charged with second degree murder, kidnapping and other charges, Crump says the hope now is that this newly released report will only strengthen the state's case. We need to make sure that none of these scorpion units, none of these police intimidation units that are allowed to trample the constitutional rights of black people are never going to be allowed to exist in Memphis again. Now, of course, Ben Crump also mentioned that he wants these policies to be nationwide, not just here in Memphis, but here in Memphis since the death of Tyree Nichols back in January. Memphis City Council has since passed six different police reform ordinances. They range from pretextual traffic stops and also making sure that there is a new data hub that will track traffic stops made by Memphis police. That is Fox 13's Kayla Solomon live tonight. Kayla, thank you. Now, a total of nine people have been fired after the death of Tyree Nichols. That includes six MPD officers and three Memphis fire employees. Five officers have been charged with second degree murder in connection to that investigation. To Darius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martin III, Desmond Mills Jr. and Justin Smith have all pleaded not guilty on all those charges. They'll be back in court June 5th.